First of all, enter the GitHub repo link given in description. Now copy the code snippet for basic setup of Termix. Now paste the copied code snippet inside Termix. Don't forget to hit enter each time. These are basic Termix setup, these might need some basic interaction. Just press Y while installing packages or continue by hitting enter. Once basic setup is completed, get back to the GitHub repo and copy the code snippet for downloading and running tool. As soon as you press enter, tool will be downloaded and will run automatically. While using the tool for first time, you might need to do setup for installing Metaspoilt and other dependencies for the tool. For running setup, just type 3 and hit enter. This is one time process, so you should not be losing your patience. While setup, if you haven't installed Metasploit before, it will ask whether to install Metasploit for you, or, you want to install it manually. For installing Metasploit, just type Y, and hit enter. Installation might take up to 20 minutes depending upon the internet speed and device specifications. You should not be losing patience in meantime. Once installation finished, now we should be able to use tool for embedding payload. Now, start by typing toxin and press enter. This will take you to the main menu of the tool. For embedding payload, type 1 and press enter. Now type your L host and L port respectively. Now you need to type full path of the original APK in which you want to embed payload. MT manager should do the task easily. Now enter the name for mod apk which will contain payload. As soon as you press enter, tools will start generating mod apk for you. This might take some time depending upon the apk size. Generally it's done within 5 to 10 minutes. After successful completion, you can find your apk in internal storage inside toxin folder. Now, you might get this play protect warning while installing the APK. To fix it, just sign the APK with Mix Explorer. Now, let's try to run listener. For running listener, type 2 and press enter. Now type your L host and L port respectively. As you can check, it's working fine for now. If you like the tool, do star it on GitHub.